having a great day. I hope you're having a great day because I know I sure as heck am. Because here at Fast Lane Diesel, every day is a great day when you got a beautiful Cummins diesel truck to look at. Oh, yeah, guys. That's what I'm talking about. www.usecumminstrucks.com. I'm John the Diesel Man, the Cummins Diesel Man, the largest second gen Cummins diesel truck dealer in the U.S. of A. Yes, say. And that's right, guys. And we got a beautiful truck once again. This is a value line truck. And this is Phoenix. And Phoenix is a wonderful gal. And I'm going to talk to you all about Phoenix in just one second. Uh, listen up, guys. As you all know, we name our trucks. We sure do. All by ladies' names. And this is compliments of Drew. Uh, Drew named this truck today Phoenix. And what I'd like all you guys to do is send me an email on the contact page. And you tell me what you would like the next truck to be named and a reason for it and I will make that truck happen so once again send me an email and say John I want you to name the next truck Sarah because uh, this wonderful girl Sarah I know saved my life okay something like that whatever whatever it is you send it to me and I'm gonna start naming the trucks after what you guys tell me and I'll tell everybody who named it I won't give you your last name but your first name and where you're from because if we're not just selling trucks here, we're working as a nation, we're coming together as a nation, and this is great. I want everybody to, to have a part of my business. That makes me feel good. Now, guys, here we go. 2001 quad cab long bed, Laramie SLT Plus, Sierra bronze in color, six-speed truck out of Idaho. What a nice truck, guys. Dunlop Rover MT mud terrain tires on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, plastic bed liner over the rail, slider tinted rear window, tinted privacy glass. It's got the little elephant ears, but you know what, guys? They got heat. And it does have some beautiful Weston Nerf bars on it. Guys, this is a value line truck. Now, we have two different types of trucks. We sure do. We have value line trucks and we have premium trucks. Now, what's the difference between a value line truck and a premium high line truck? The only difference between a value truck and a Highline truck is cosmetics, and that's all. That's it. This truck could be a premium truck, could be a Highline truck, but it's got a couple paint chips in it, and it's got a couple dings here and there. So therefore, I'm telling you, it is a value line truck. This is a rust-free truck from Idaho. It was owned by an older gentleman, and this is a great truck. It's two-tone with silver on the bottom. It's all stock. It's never been chipped. He took very good care of this truck. It's got an aftermarket fuel pump on it. I believe it has an air dog. And we're going to get into this truck, showing you what it's all about, giving you the walk around. Now, if this is your first time tuning in to the Diesel Man at www.nydiesels.com, I want to say thank you for coming to the show, the show that brings you the most second-gen Cummins diesel trucks. Oh, yeah, baby, and everybody knows that, and that's why I'm here. I love second-gen trucks. I've been doing them since 1998, and that's why I'm here, guys. I'm here to sell clean trucks. All of our trucks are rust-free, clean trucks, guys. And we sell them to people all over the world, all over the country. Oh, yeah. That's what we do. We're the largest second-gen Cummins diesel truck dealer in the U.S. of A, this beautiful country. And I want to say thank you to everybody that has ever bought a truck off me. And thank you to everybody that's going to buy a truck off me. People buy our trucks because why? I will tell you why people buy our trucks. And then I'll tell you why we're number one. And they kind of go hand in hand. And that's why we're successful People buy our trucks because, A, that's all we sell. Now, why would you go to a Suzuki dealer to buy a Cummins diesel truck? They don't know anything about them, okay? You wouldn't go to a dentist if you had a heart problem, would you? Well, that's why you're coming to John the Diesel Man, because we're a Cummins diesel repair shop as well, and we got the legendary Rick the Cummins Tech 
on the wheels of steel, the wrenches and all the diagnostic equipment, guys. Absolutely. We go through every truck with a fine-tooth comb. We sure do. And we're talking, we pull out the injectors. We test them. We pull off the fuel injection pump. We send it out. We have it tested. We do full compression test. And, guys, the interior of this truck is mint. That's all I'm going to say. The interior of this truck is absolutely mint. As I look at it, it's got that beautiful camel sage uh, tan interior, and it is very nice. The jams are all nice. Everything is nice and clean. I can't believe how nice and clean it is. Wait a minute. Yes, I can because this is all I do. People come here and they say, geez, John, did you put a new frame on that truck? Did you put a new engine in that truck? Did you put new fuel lines in that truck? What did you do? You must have done something because it's just too clean. No, guys, that's the way it is, okay? You got to remember, when you step on my lot, I've got trucks here from all over the U.S. of A., and I'm telling you right now, feel privileged, guys, because you'll never see that many second-gen Cummins diesel trucks in one spot ever again. And it takes a lot of work to put these on the ground, and I want you to pretend that you're in Utah, or you're in Florida, or you're in Colorado, or you're in Vegas, wherever you are, I bring them all to you guys, okay? All these trucks are from all different states, and, and they're all clean, and... Guys, we go right through our trucks 100%. So compression test, fuel test, suspension, brakes, electrical systems, fuel pumps, steering, transmission, clutch, flywheel, front axles, rear axles, interior, exterior. Guys, and I'm telling you right now, there's no other dealer in the country that does that. Not one dealer does what we do, okay? This has got overhead digital display and automatic dimming, rear dimming uh, light. We're going to get more into the inside of this in a second. We're going to keep walking around this truck here. Guys, there's a lot of guys out there trying to sell. Hey, that sounds kind of good. Guys, there's a lot of guys out there selling trucks. Well, let me tell you, fellas, there's a lot of trucks out there, and there's a lot of people selling them. This truck's tires are 90%, by the way. They're beautiful. Okay, there's a lot of trucks out there. There sure is. You can bank on that, guys. Because on every street corner on the internet, you got a guy that thinks he's got gold because he's got a second gen Cummins diesel truck. You've seen them, I've seen them, we've all seen them, okay? Well, they aren't, they aren't fooling me, okay? I know what those guys are selling, okay? You know how I know that? Because I get customers that come to my lot who went to all these other lots out there and tell me that their stuff is, is, is very, very bad, okay? They tell me that. How do I know that? Because back in the day, I used to have to buy trucks off all these other dealers because I didn't have most of them, you know? So if I had a customer that needed a truck and I didn't have it, I'd call up, uh, I don't know, Jimmy from wherever and say, hey, Jimmy, I, got, I need a truck for this customer. Do you have it? Oh, yeah, John, I've got it. I've got that truck. Okay, Jimmy, how is it? How's it run? Now, this is another dealer that has this truck out there, front row ready, ready to go. Oh, John, it's a great truck. You're going to love it. You're not going to want to miss it. Your customer's going to be so happy it doesn't need anything. I'm just going to say one thing to you guys. If a car dealer ever tells you that it doesn't need anything, okay, they're probably telling you a lie. Either that or they have no clue what they are even selling. They might think that it's 100%, and realistically, it's not. That's all that matters. They might think it's 100%, but they don't even know what they're talking about. Well, let me tell you what, guys. We're not going to sit here and tell you that our trucks don't need anything because we might miss something. But I can damn sure tell you this. We go through our trucks with a fine-tooth comb, and we try to give the absolute best product that we can. We check every angle. We know every nut and bolt and screw on every single Cummins truck. We've done them so long, and that's all we do. And we're not some guy down in Pennsylvania or Virginia that's going to tell you, oh, these are my favorite hobby. I love these things so much. Uh, we want to make sure you're going to get a great truck. Listen. I've heard the stories, you've heard the stories. I've been burned, you know somebody that's been burned, okay? That's why I started going through my trucks the way I do. Because I'm sick and tired of hearing st people, people's stories about how these dealers are hurting them, okay? A lot of dealers out there buy these trucks and they say, Oh, I can make money, I can make money. Guys, it's not about the money, okay? We all need to make a little bit to survive. 
But what's most important to me is that I sell a good product. Okay? And anybody that's ever bought a truck off me has gotten a good product. 10 to 20 years out of my trucks, guys, is what you're going to get. And this is just an absolutely really nice truck. Now, yeah, guys, the interior is nice. The interior is nice. Okay? Sure. Of course it is. Of course it is. And that's what every other dealer is going to tell you. But you know what? You know what I want to know? Hey, Big Rig City. Yeah. Got great neighbors here, guys. They're great. You know what I want to know? I want to know how the truck runs. I want to know if all the seals have been done. I want to know if all the seals have been checked. Because I'll tell you what, there's a lot of stuff under this hood, guys, that can go wrong. Just because it says Cummins on the side doesn't mean it's not going to break. You got to know what you're getting into, okay? And that's why no dealer does what we do. They don't even have the tools to do what we can do to test these things, guys. We have all the diagnostic equipment, computers, and all the tools to check these engines correctly. My customers cannot afford to buy a truck and have it come back. They can't. They cannot be broken down. And as you're going to see on this truck, it's nice and clean. All the brake lines and everything are original. That's a huge bonus. I'm bringing the West out to you so that you don't have to take a gamble and buy some junk on the Internet, guys, okay? I hear those stories too. People fly all the way out to Texas to buy a truck and they get there and the truck is junk. Well, just because the price is cheap doesn't mean it's good. I'm telling you that right now, guys. Never buy something because the price is cheap. That's a bad sign. You buy something at a, at a fair price and you get a great product, okay? Now this has your uh, fuel snub on the side of the injection pump and that's for your uh, air dog coming in. Now guys, there's a lot of seals inside these engines that can go bad. Uh, I can back up everything I say with documents, pictures, and everything that we've worked on in our shop over the years, okay? We work on these things every day, all day. Side cover seals, that's a big job. The injection pump, that's an expensive job and it's a fairly big job, okay? Your, uh, your time and cover seal on the front, huge job. Got to pull the cam out of the engine, okay? Just to fix an oil leak, you got to take the cam out of this engine. To take the cam out of the engine, you got to take the whole front of the tire truck, uh, uh, the whole fire. Uh, excuse me, that's a lot to say in one. My English teacher would be upset with me. Uh, that's a whole lot to say right there. You'd have to take the whole front clip off the truck and disassemble the whole entire front of the engine, pull the top of the head apart, pull everything off the left side of the engine, just to, and pull the cam out just to do the seal, guys. The seal's back here, okay? It's back here behind... The timing gear. If that seal goes bad, you're looking at about two or three grand to change that. Okay? Now, the dealer that you're buying that truck from, is he going to stand behind that? No, we are. Because first thing we're going we're to do is we're going to check it. I won't even let it leave my lot if it's not right, guys. And that's the God's honest truth. That's what I'm talking about. All you guys out there that are listening to me right now on this video, make sure you understand that a Cummins truck compared to another Cummins truck is not the same. Okay? We test computers. You got the PCM, you got the ECM, you got the alternator. We check, we check all those. Make sure everything's working together with the throttle position sensor, okay? Make sure all the voltage is good and all the pins are good. Because sometimes you can get broken wires here and there within leads that aren't running right. Flush the cooling system. Check the water pump. Thermostat. We've checked it all, guys. It's good to go. Oh, yeah. That's what we do. Big time. Uh-huh. Now, Phoenix is a great truck. Now let's take a look here one more time. We're just going to walk around this truck. I want to show you. Okay, so it's Sierra Bronze and Silver, and that's a great truck. It's a six-speed NV5600 manual transmission. You get about 20 miles to the gallon of this truck. It's got 355 gears. Now they come in 355s or 410s. This has got 355s. Excellent. You can hook up to, uh, you know, 15,000 pounds and yank it around. No problem with the six-speed, okay? You got $1,000 worth of rubber on this truck. It's great. Truck came out of Idaho. It's nice and clean. It's got the air dog fuel pump on it. There's some extra weight for you, and the inside of this truck is beautiful. Yeah, it's got a few dings here and there. It sure does. As a matter of fact, tail ding's got a little whiskey dent in it right there, okay? Bumper's got a couple dings in it, but overall, it's a great truck, guys. It's got 214 on it, all highway out of Idaho. See how big the state of Idaho is, guys, and you'll understand why it's got 214 on it. Now, all you guys out there that think that you want a low-mileage Cummins truck, I'm going to get something out of your head right now really fast, okay? This is from experience. This is not what I read out of a book. 
If you buy a low mileage truck, a 2000, 2001, 2002 Cummins diesel truck, and it's got 300,000 miles on it, that is nothing, guys. That is absolutely nothing. Okay? These trucks need to be driven. They need to be driven. Okay? They did not put a Cummins diesel engine in these trucks to sit around. Okay? The fact of the matter is... Oh, yeah. The fact of the matter is, is that if these trucks are not driven, all your seals are going to dry up. Okay? You know what else is going to happen, guys? Your coolant, not circulating inside the engine. It's going to start rusting, freezing everything up. Okay? Pretend that you go to sleep in your bed and you don't wake up for 10 years and then you try to walk. What's going to happen? Probably going to really injure yourself. Same thing goes for these. If these trucks have got 100,000 miles on them, that means they have not been driven a lot. The trucks that we put the most amount of money into are trucks that have less than 100,000 miles or less than 130,000 miles, okay? Those are the trucks that we put a lot of money into. We usually do all the seals on the engine, the hubs, the bearings, the wheel seals, the bearings in the rear. We usually do the heater core, which is a 16-hour job. Okay, so if you want a truck, you got to remember these trucks are this truck's 11 years old, guys. It, it should have it should have uh, you know 30 to 60,000 miles a year put on it, according to Cummins, because that's what they expected when they were when they produced these trucks with Dodge. They told Dodge, you know, you guys are probably you tell your customers that you know 30 to 60,000 miles a year. That's what that's what you're going to want out of those trucks. So. Miles is not everything. 11 year old truck, 30,000 miles is 333,000 miles. I didn't go to math class last night, but I can tell you that one, guys. So don't let miles fool you. I got a truck here with 346,000 miles, and the truck drives nicer than any Cummins truck probably I've ever had. All right? It's beautiful. When you, when you break down the compression, this truck had 380, 390, 387. 384 and a couple other measurements. I don't remember, but it was great. Very high. Okay. You're talking about an industrial engine inside a small pickup truck. Guys, the engine in this truck is the same thing you find in bread trucks, Ford F800s, dump trucks, and all kinds of other trucks. You cannot overwork this engine. Don't buy a truck that's been chipped unless you know the guy that's owned it, okay? EGTs will kill the engine. Make sure you run good oil in these trucks. And Pico, Rotella Shell is a, is a very moderate to fair oil, okay? It's nothing special. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at this engine one more time. Now, this has an aftermarket Canaan and air filter. That's good, guys. That's good. Now, guys, there's not much else to say, okay? This is a great truck. Absolutely great. My friend has a truck. He's, he's a leader. He's leading right now. He's got 1.7 million miles on his second gen Cummins, and he's never had the motor open. 1.7 million miles, guys. All right, now we're just going to take this truck for a quick ride. Oh, yeah, let's get going because it's almost dinner time, and Johnny the Diesel Man's hungry. I'm going to go swallow up some power strokes for dinner. Now, listen, seriously, guys. Why is Cummins the best? Well, I'm just going to put it to you plain and simple. You don't see... Dodge guys trying to put power stroke diesels in their trucks, do you? Yeah, they usually go the opposite way. People are always trying to put Cummins motors inside Ford trucks. Now, with that being said, here we go. Nice little ride. Let's rock and roll. Cummins power, baby. Oh, yeah. I shift at 2200 RPMs, guys. There's no need to go over that. This truck runs and drives great. Oh, yeah. Make sure you get the full feel here. This thing shifts nice, and man, does it feel good. It's got lots of power. This is beautiful. 
Now, now we get into the fun part. I get to tell you exactly how the deal goes down. Well, it's really simple, guys. Call to make an appointment because we're all over the place. We do not keep normal business hours because we simply just cannot wait around for people to show up. Um, just make a call and say, John, I'm interested in this truck. I'll ask you if you have your financing in order. We don't do any financing, okay, guys? We don't do any financing. You're going to have to go to your local lending institution or bank before you make the drive down because I just I know time is, is valuable to me and I'm sure it's valuable to you. And I just don't want anybody to waste their time. So make an appointment. Call me at 607-423-7729. I'll meet you down at the, at the dealership. We'll go through the trucks together. And um, hopefully it'll be just like you watch this video, just like the same thing. Usually that's what people tell me. You can fly into Syracuse Airport and drive this truck home. We'll pick, we'll pick you up. Uh, or we ship nationwide. And what else? We take 2002 and older Dodge Diesel Cummins trucks and gas trucks on trade. We don't give much for the gas trucks, guys. Uh, we use them for parts. If you or somebody you know has a wrecked or salvaged second gen Cummins diesel truck, we'll buy it for we'll buy it uh, for cash. Uh, we'll use it for the parts, guys. We need the parts for these trucks, and um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we have over 200 second gen Cummins diesel trucks, and they'll be going on the website soon. Yeah, but dab do. We're trying to get the dealership going as fast as we can, guys. It's a very hard business. It takes a lot of time to put these trucks on the ground, and uh, you know I, I I appreciate everybody. It comes to our website, and uh, we get lots of traffic, 20,000 hits a week, guys, and that's all because of you, and I want to say thank you, and if I had a house big enough, I'd, I'd invite all you guys over, uh, you know, to, to, to play cards or something, but unfortunately, I, I don't own a school or anything like that, but what I can tell you is that someday when we get our big dealership, guys, we're going to have all kinds of fun. We're going to have great big Cummins diesel parties where people can bring their trucks and we can all just hang out and have fun and put the trucks up on a dyno and see what horsepower is all about. And it's just great because we're all a community and we're all family when we have Cummins diesel trucks, guys. Um, other than that, guys, give a shout out to the U.S. troops out there. Thank you so much for uh, protecting us and uh, giving us the freedom to do what we do. And I'm going to tell you, I was talking to a, to a gent in the Air Force today, and, uh, you know, it's amazing what those guys can do at uh, high altitudes, you know, over 20,000 feet. I know, I know I'm, I'm, not, I'm not probably speaking uh, correctly on this because those guys go a lot higher than that, but it's just absolutely amazing what you guys can do and what you guys do to protect us. So I just want to say thank you so much for all that, guys. And I hope everybody votes in this election this year. And uh, I hope America comes out uh, a winner in the future. So thank you, guys. I'm John, the Cummins Diesel Truck Dealer. Have some fun because, guys, without fun there is no life, okay? I'll tell you that right now. So thanks for coming by. Explore our site. And remember, send me an email telling me what's the next truck's name going to be. Is it going to be Katie? Is it going to be Kathy? Is it going to be Susie? You tell me. I'm John the Cummins Diesel Man. Thank you for coming to www.usecumminstrucks.com and nydiesels.com. I'm going to continue to follow this parade of farmers down through the country on my wild journey until I get back to the dealership. You're looking at a beautiful truck, and I just want to say, Phoenix, thanks you for taking the time to watch this beautiful video. Oh, yeah, and keep those turbos. Smoothing.